Welcome back everybody to another Let's Play of Rome Total War with the Scipii family doing the No Post Marian Reform Unit Recruitment Challenge and in the last episode we had just taken Thapsis and Carthage and uh, we're going to continue the campaign here. I'm also moving out up north here against Dacia. I'm going to try to take out uh, Luvavim here and then move further east. Our allies, the uh, Brutii, looks like they're going after Greece. I kind of want to try to slow them down, but I, I see a pretty strong Macedonia over here. I'm thinking that they might be able to slow down the Brutii a little bit, but they've got quite a bit, of, quite a large army here, but they're about to take Thurman. So I want to make sure, I want to try to get uh, slow the Brutii down as much as possible because I don't want them getting their cities uh, to grow too fast so because I want to delay the Marian reforms as much as possible that's why I've been that's why I took Padavium and Segestica up here and then looks like the Julii are massing pretty large armies going out west so I might have to try to slow them down out west as well we'll see what happens but for now I'm gonna focus on Carthage so Julianus over here, I, I noticed that he's a poor farmer and useless assessor. So it gives me a penalty on taxes and farming output. And I'm wondering if I should move him out of the city. Let's see what happens when I do that. Yeah, that actually makes me an extra 130 denarii per turn. But I have to keep a larger garrison here. So I think what I'm going to do is recruit some peasants just to keep public order. I want to keep my taxes at very high. And uh, he's a really good general, so I'm going to send Julianus up north to help deal with Dacia. And uh, yeah, he's not going to be governing the city. I'm going to get my spy out of Thapsis and have him start moving down, take a look at what's going on. We got some rebels over here. And we're going to take a look at Carthage's other cities. I think I'm going to, instead of getting a study in Padavian because it hurts my population, I need this city to grow. I'm going to get a spy over here in Padavian to spy on Dacia. I'm going to send Gaius over here and have him attack Dacia. Attack! He'll probably retreat. Yep. Victory! And, uh, wow, I hope they're right next to the town here. Because then maybe I can take the take loop of them without a siege. That'd be really cool. Attack! Yeah, we've got the reinforcements. Uh, just a couple of warband, their faction leader. I don't know what's in the reinforcement, but uh, it doesn't look like much. So let's go ahead and fight this. All right, I'm gonna line up my infantry over here. Get my Illyrian mercenaries up front. And definitely want to wait until their reinforcements get a lot closer before I attack. Okay, I'm going to have my cavalry march behind them. So let's get them out around the sides. Let's move our infantry forward. Let's get our Illyrians forward. I want to make sure I cut off any escape with my cavalry because I do not want anybody to get away. Let's send my Illyrians up and have them start throwing their javelins. Get my cavalry behind them. They're doing their war cry. Just gotta wait a little bit. Okay, I gotta move my infantry up a bit. And inch my Illyrians forward. Double time. Let's actually have them just start charging at these warbands. And my infantry. Double time as well. Let's get my cavalry behind them. All right, we're doing pretty good damage to their uh, war band. Let's 
Go ahead and charge my infantry out. Uh-oh. They're coming after me here. Let's go ahead. We got them surrounded. Got them to route. Get these guys involved. Okay, these guys have good morale, but we got them. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. Alright, we got the enemy general. That should be uh that should be it for this army. We should take the city. Nice. Alright, well I lost uh, over two hundred, more than I had hoped for, but it's still a victory. And the city is ours. Let's see. They're really small. Is it worth enslaving them? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and enslave them. They only have 400 people left. Gonna keep it at low taxes. Yeah, I can't even recruit a peasant. Not enough people. I'm gonna go ahead and disband my uh, Samnite mercenaries and my Barbarian mercenaries. That should increase the population a little bit. Still not enough to recruit a peasant. I'm gonna get uh, my general to go over here and build some watchtowers. I'm going to disband one of my peasant units in Segestica. Just increase this population. We're up to 829. Still a long way to go for growth. Padavium over here has a 10.5% population growth. That's pretty impressive. I need to get some people over here. And I'm just going to go ahead and end my turn now. Okay, looks like we have a new general, Publius Scipio. He's got a lot of traits. He's mildly extravagant, careful with money. He's a minion, devout, fluent speaker, confident in defense, no enemies, and a gourmand. Uh, yeah, not the best. He's probably going to turn out terrible. Well, we're making quite a bit of money now. We've got a treasury of 13,000. I want to make sure that doesn't get over 50k, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. Because that's when you get more corruption stuff, when you have large treasuries. So I might have to queue up some buildings. Alright, here in uh, Carthage, um, training a bunch of peasants. Because I need to... I want to try to get my taxes up to very high. Um, we still have this temple of Baal. I probably should at some point get rid of this, but um, that'll I'd have to lower my taxes because it's giving me 20% public order. Uh, although it will definitely reduce the culture penalty. So. Hmm, I might just go ahead and do that right now. Because I can build a, another one of our temples. Probably Saturn. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, that got us to 60%. And we'll do Saturn. And we can go a couple levels with that, which will get us back to that 20%. And that should, over time, reduce the culture penalty. But... For now, I'm going to have to go back to, to normal taxes, which will be okay for now. And I think I'm going to go with Saturn also in Thapsis as well. Make sure, let's see if we can recruit more peasants. We'll have to lower our taxes for now to low taxes. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can move my army out. I might have to leave a few guys here, I think. Um... Let's see. Get my untrained Hestades. Okay. 
I'm gonna move my spy, see what we got here. Okay, so we do have a pretty good general coming after us. Um, he's just a family member. But not a very threatening army, so we can deal with him. Let's see what they got in this city over here. Yeah, they don't have too much, so uh, we should be able to take these guys out pretty easily. I'm going to get Quintus over here into Thapsis. Let him uh, be the governor of Thapsis. Now that helps out a little bit. I can actually raise the taxes back to high. So that's pretty good. And once we get the temples of Saturns and even large temples of Saturns, we should be much better off. All right, we won't be able to attack this turn. He'll pro he might attack us. We'll see. So I'm gonna send this fleet up here and see if I can uh, hit these uh, Carthaginian navy. I can't get him this turn, but maybe next turn. We'll see what he does. He might try to blockade our capital, which wouldn't be good. Man, the Julii are frightening me. Look at all these large armies. I might need to get an army out west sooner rather than later just to try to slow down the Julii expansion. It looks like the uh, Greeks are doing a pretty good number on the Brutii. So, as well as there's Macedonia is pretty strong too. So they might keep the Brutii in check. I might have to ship my, shift my armies out west. Uh, probably after I take uh, this city over here. Let's see. I want to go take a look at Spain. We got a Spanish diplomat over here. Let's see if we can get map and trade. That's good. Wondering what Dacia's got over here. They don't really have much. Ooh, they, there's a large rebel army out here. Okay, we've got another army here. I wonder if we should make peace with Dacia and march west instead of east. I could place an army on this bridge, but there's another crossing over here, but I don't think they'll take it. They would take this crossing here. So if I make peace with them, I could place an army on this bridge. That would leave Luvavum pretty vulnerable. Let's see if they'll accept a ceasefire. I shall speak with them at once. No, they don't want to do that. So we're we're just gonna have to battle with them a little bit longer. Okay, we got our spy. Let's just go spy on our allies just for practice. Good. We got a trade increase. Wow, this guy's got a lot of influence. Let's get him out here. And I'm definitely going to get, I think, farming over here. We want to grow this population, even though it's already growing super fast. But I want to try to get peasants here and uh, populate Segestica. In fact, uh, I probably should wait, let the population grow a little bit before I start recruiting peasants. Sir. I'm going to get Gaius over here. Build a watchtower. Alright, I'm gonna get this. I got one Hastati here. I can't recruit any peasants, so I'm gonna have to leave them here for now. I'm gonna get this army marching out and uh, just moving out against Stacia. I'm going to get another Illyrian mercenary. I think that's going to be a good investment. Uh, over here in Syracuse, I think I need to get... Uh, let's upgrade my Temple of Vulcan. Let's do that here. Oh, we can get a Governor's Palace in Masana. Yeah, let's get a Temple of Vulcan in Masana. And we're going to get more Hastadis. And Lily Byam will get communal farming and I need to go down to low taxes I think here I'm gonna get a well I want this city to grow so I only have 559 people we got another poor farmer over here you know even though it's costing me money I think I am gonna keep uh, Julianus in Capua just for now 
Move out. Uh, it does actually help with public order. Uh, and then I can send some of these peasants up north to help populate my frontiers. So let's go ahead and do that. See how many I can get. Can I get a couple peasants? There we go. I'm going to keep having them uh, build peasants. And see if we can, uh, yeah, keep shipping them out to uh, populate these other, the Frontiers towns, so we can get them to grow like uh, Segestica and Padavium. And Luvavim as well, because our populations are really low. Oh, yeah, I didn't blockade uh, Thurman. And so Senate's unhappy with that failed mission, but we're still number one in, in the eyes of the Senate. And, oh, it looks like Carthage has another. Navy over here that they blockaded me as I went after this group, but I have this group here. I should be able to attack him uh, We should win this Okay Alright, another victory. Let's go ahead and attack another one. Alright. So, are we at war with Greece? We are. So they're thinking of attacking us with three units. I think we can handle them. Alright, I'm going to move this spy over here. Take a look at uh, a qu this city over here. And get my army moving out a little bit closer. March. I think I want to wait for my spy to get in the city. I'm just going to move my diplomat to see if uh, I can find any more troops. I think I'm just going to have him besiege the city. Oh, okay. We got ambushed. Let's go ahead and fight that on the map. Wow. I should have known better. That's why you move your spy ahead. I'm going to pause the battle right at the beginning so I can order my troops around. Oh, this isn't bad at all. So what do we've got? We've got Falksmen over here. Some cavalry. And a bunch of infantry up front. So we've got our cavalry in the front. Oh, this isn't bad at all. They don't even have us surrounded. Okay. Let's, uh... So I'm going to try to get my infantry lined up like this. Get my skirmishers. And get my cavalry. We're going to all run. And I'm going to unpause it. There we go. Let's go. Why aren't my cavalry moving? Okay, there we go. This is the one group I'm worried about. This is Stadi. But we should be able to get in place. Yeah. Oh, this is not going to be bad at all. Yeah, we, we're able to completely, well, almost completely form up. Where's the rest of our infantry? Oh, they're coming. And we're hitting them with m missiles already. Very nice. All right, let's get my infantry. Move up, double time. General Fleas! Press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too! Alright, let's get my cavalry up. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's 
get my cavalry, try to flank them. See if we can get these guys to route. Nice. All right, for an ambush, we only lost 13 guys and we killed 679. That was really good. Oh wow, look at that, we got a scout. Good plus one command when ambushing, plus two line of sight. Cool. Sir. All because we got ambushed. That's awesome. So we can't uh, besiege him this turn, but we'll get our spy in next turn. Hopefully he can open the gates and we'll be able to attack. All right, I'm gonna move this army up. Looks like we've got a bit of a traffic jam here due to the broody eyes being up in our territory. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get a academy in my capital. Maybe help our leader be a little bit better. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna move my equites out of Syracuse and into Masana, and that will, if they decide to attack, I'll have some, a little more cavalry to deal with them a little bit easier. And Carthage, I'm gonna get a Temple of Saturn. Make sure we keep recruiting peasants. And Thapsis is going to go do the same. I can go up to, to very high taxes now. But I need to keep a lot of peasants for public order. Alright, uh, Queso. Do we go after this army? Do we split up? Or do we just go straight for Lepsis uh, Magna? I think we do split up. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to send three Histadis, Bellates, and my archers this way. Is that enough to deal with this? Uh, they've got their faction leader. That's going to be kind of a tall order for this smaller army. I don't want to have heavy casualties. I'm just going to keep them all together and take out Lepsis Magna first and then deal with uh, that other army later. Let's get this cavalry into uh, Thapsis. I'm going to move one of my peasants over here into Syracuse. Just increase public order. I need to start recruiting more troops. I'm just going to go ahead and end my turn. Uh, blockade Lepsis Magna. Hmm. How long will that take me to do that? Oh, I can just blockade them just by sitting here. Let's just send a Velites sit here I'll attack gates are open but I think I'll just sit here to complete the mission because I really want to complete the mission since I failed the last mission interesting Thrace is now a uh, client state of Macedonia interesting all right looks like we got a pretty weak their the Greece did land their army and they're pretty weak so let's go ahead and attack and we got 109 Greek cavalry and a bun bunch of peltists. Let's uh, see if we can do it with as few casualties as possible. All right, I'm going to get my general to go around. I'm going to get my cavalry to hit him from behind. My worries is that he's going to chase one of my equites and be able to catch him with his like cavalry. So I need to keep my cavalry together. Okay, it looks like he's retreating. So I won't be able to catch their cavalry. But I should be able to take out all their peltists. Well, I only managed to kill 268 and they killed 10. Uh, the rest of them got away. And they were able to retreat back onto their ship. And... But we can hit their fleet. And then hit them again. And this time we should be able to sink them. Yep, and then we got those guys. Nice. Victory! I captain. 
And I'm gonna chase after this Carthaginian fleet. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get the governor's palace for Masana. And Syracuse. We'll get the large temple of Vulcan. Alright, up here in Dacia, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, send my spy out into the city. And go ahead and attack. We did not get the gates open, so we're gonna have to build ramps. Let's get our armies on the march. Okay, so I've got these three peasants that I wanted to send out maybe a couple to Segestica and one to Luvavum. But it's going to take them more than three turns just to get to Padavium. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and disband all three of them in Padavium right on the border. And that will shift the population over to Padavium. And now I should be able to recruit three peasants here. I'll do them one at a time because I don't want to reduce... I want the population to continue to grow here in Padavium. But I'll recruit three peasants here. And that will magically teleport them to the capital. And I'll be able to send them to Luvavum and Segestica. I'll get two over to Segestica. Actually, I might just do Segestica first. Get it to the next level of town. And once it's there... I'll start working on loop of them because Segestica has the mines which are really valuable. Remove this army. Let me move this army out of Segestica and get them to help out with the attack against Dacia. And I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn. All right, looks like we are getting attacked. They brought their troops back. All right, let's go ahead and fight this on the map. All right, here they come. Their your reinforcements have arrived. This is hopeful news indeed. They're coming from both sides. Let's get our reinforcements over here. They're coming from two different sides. They're coming from here. And they're coming from over here as well. Let's actually meet them. Let's try to take on this army first. Let's move these guys out. Let's have everybody run. We're going to try to hit this army before the reinforcements come. All right, I need to go fast. They're coming. Get my cavalry charging. Oh boy, what did I do with my infantry? That was crazy. Double time. Let's go, attack. Go get their enemy general. Okay, we got the hoplites to route. Let's get let's keep these guys charging out. Got to keep an eye on their other armies over here. Let's get our Velites archers. Prepare for that. We got to kill their general. Okay, get this group. Come on. Attack the general over here. We're taking heavy casualties with our cavalry. But we're managing to rout most of them. Okay, if only we can kill their general. Let's go. Where is he? Got him. Okay. Enemy general is dead. Let's get our. His men know that let's go take on these skirmishers. Let's get our infantry to line up against their other army. Let's get our missiles lined up. Everybody run. Boy, these skirmishers are hanging in there. The gods be praised. Enemies' hearts are full of fear, and now they flee. Let's 
have our cavalry chase down their remaining units. Get our general back here with the rest of our guys. Let our equites chase these guys down. I want to get as many kills as I can. We do have another army to worry about, though. We'll leave those skirmishers. The hoplites are mostly taken care of. We wanted to be able to come back eventually and help out with this uh, this battle over here. So we've killed 46%. Alright, let's get our cavalry back. They're pretty tired. They're tired, but I need them over here. We've got a very large general's bodyguard over here. get their general's bodyguard let's rally because I know they're gonna want to route okay make sure my general doesn't die come on they've got a lot of guys in that general's bodyguard, come on, attack. Okay, what how did our archers route? The enemy king is fleeing! This is Okay, we got the enemy general. Let's just try to reduce casualties as much as possible. Okay, we got him. Let's just track him down now. Run him down. And we want to do as many casualties as we can. Alright, we took quite a few casualties, over 500, but uh, we dished out 1,600, so not too bad. And another settlement captured. Alright, we're going to go ahead and enslave the population. Well, they want Thurman again. Broody I are attacking. I wonder, did that count as a victory for the Senate mission? I think we did go down a little bit. Did that count? That didn't count as a victory because they attacked us and we took the city. I mean, that didn't count to complete our mission blockading this port because we took the city in their counterattack. I don't know. Okay, this will give us a 10% penalty if we destroy the Shrine to Ball, but we'd still be at 75% with normal tactics, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to get a Shrine to Saturn. Oh, not Saturn. Yeah, Saturn. And uh, recruit some peasants. Oh, they don't have that many populations, so I think one peasant should do. Interesting that we need so many troops in here. We've got quite a bit of culture penalty and distance to capital penalty here. General. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and attack this city over here. Attack. The Dacian city. They've got a couple of foxmen and their family member, war dogs. they got a foxman, warband, family member, and war warhounds. Let's go ahead and fight this on the map. Alright, I've got three groups surrounding the city. I'm going to send this group. They have the longest march, so I'm going to start get them out. Moving out. And 
then I'm gonna go ahead and just send this group up to those are their warhounds. Our soldiers are at the gates. Now they must batter our way through. The enemy gate is down. Our battering ram has done its work. That's not it. All right, I've broken down the gates. I did manage to kill uh, quite a bit of their warhounds uh, with my uh, skirmishers. Let's get everybody in the gates. At least get my infantry all in the gates. Actually, I'm going to have this group halt, because we've got these uh, warband over here. Let's let my other groups get in first, because they're not facing as many guys. So we'll let these guys get in first. I'm going to move my infantry up, and then my Illyrians up. See if they come after me. Looks like they're all. Where are they? I thought there was more than this. Are they just all huddled up in the town square? I think so. Uh, I'm gonna wait on this group. Uh, let's go ahead and get them in here. And then this group, sure. We'll get them to have everybody double time just get in the gates okay I'm gonna move my largest group forward first and then this group moving out And finally, this group. These guys are tough fighters, so I want to make sure I can surround them if possible. And they're they've got heavy cav, 49 heavy cav. Yeah, it's gonna be some tough fighting here. Okay, here they come. Let's get let's get our reinforcements going. And yeah, make sure we uh, charge out with everybody. Let's go. Let's get our general up here just to help their morale. But I should be able to take out their general. Go, go, go. Come on, don't wait. Heavy cav. Let's uh, rally our troops. Get their confidence up. We got them surrounded. Uh, let's see, let's get these guys up. The enemy general flees. Press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too. Okay. Let's halt. Let's get my cavalry out back. Oh, here they come again. Come on, don't charge. Just charge, I guess. Well, we routed. But here comes their general. Okay, we killed their general. Be praised. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Where's our general? Get him out of here. Come on. Don't don't get back. Get back, general. Come on. Don't die, please. Alright, let's get this. Pieces, out. 
charge. Charge. They just leveled up. And we did it. The enemy hey, not too bad. This is a heroic victory. Worthy of Rome. 200, only 215 losses. Pretty good, considering that they were pretty tough. Although we had so many more guys. But eh, it's not bad for a siege. Since I know this population is just tiny, we're just going to occupy it. We're not going to enslave it. They only have 540 people. Let's go ahead and retrain our guys. Oh, you know what I forgot to do is over here in Luvavum. I, I definitely need to do... Demolish these uh, this shrine here and get a shrine to uh, Saturn. Yeah, I forgot to do that. What uh, shrine do I have in Padavium? Okay. Yeah, we're going to keep building these shrines to Saturns, especially in cities that I don't expect to build a lot of military. If I expect to do build the military to do Vulcan, I don't really care for the shrine to Neptune. So we'll just do keep doing Saturns here. And yeah, I need to get more peasants because I want to keep these peasants. I want to get Segestica to grow in population. Uh, this guy's in my way. Let's get this army. Oh, you know what? I could have probably moved these peasants out. Huh. I'm going to send my spy out. They have onagers? Dacia has onagers? Crazy. How did they get onagers? I'm going to see if I can do a ceasefire with them. No, they don't want to. Okay. Really? They have... What does this city have? Do they have siege engines? Wow. I really didn't expect them to to build up uh, Onager so quickly. Oh, we've got another ambushing unit here, don't we? Look at this. We had another group of ambushers. Wow. Do we just sit here in the town? Let's move these guys onto the bridge. We'll combine these two units together. Okay, so it looks like Thaps is... Uh, we had a lot of unrest last turn. And that's died down a good bit, so we can go up to very high taxes. Although, I think I do want to get another temple, large temple of Saturn. And I wonder if I should start training up military instead of just peasants. I think uh, we'll keep getting peasants for now. But I can start sending them to Carthage, too. Oh, we can get very high taxes here in Carthage. Let's get a large temple of Saturn here as well. And, uh... Well, what's our population like here? We have 800, 988, so it's a pretty small city. We could send a peasant down here. So I'll do that. Okay, looks like we've got a Carthaginian navy right here. Let's attack him. Okay, he's getting away. I don't think we can catch him. Let me go ahead and uh, get some more equites over here. Lily Byam, I think, uh, I don't know. Let's get some walls, blacksmith, and stables. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about Dacia over here. They're, uh, this army is actually pretty decent. They've got archers, but not a lot. They looks like they've taken some damage. But combined with these onagers, warhounds, and another warband, I could still take them, I think. But glad we have our reinforcements on the way. Although I don't want to send them out alone. I can combine these two reinforcements together, then send them out. Let's take a look at the faction graphs. I'm going to take a look at the uh, the Roman factions and Dacia. Maybe uh, Greek and Macedonia and Carthage. So we really uh, managed to tank Carthage out. Greece is still pretty strong. Actually, Greece is right there up, up there with us. Wow. So, I didn't realize Greece was so strong. I thought Macedonia was a little bit stronger in the overall ranking, but no, Greece is way up there. Dacia's taken definitely taken a hit because we've been fighting them. 
So military, Greece is number one. Where's Dacia? Okay, they're up there. Carthage has nothing left. Um, they, I think they only have one city, which is Palmyra down there. And then production. It's all over the place, but we've managed to jump up to number one. And then territories, of course, we're number one. Finances, no. We're nowhere near there. We really hit Carthage, but they still have a lot of money. Dacia doesn't have any money. So this is the one... This uh, I want to take a look at this. Just the Roman factions. Uh, population. So this is really important because I don't want these... Our other Roman factions to trigger the Marian reforms. So I want to make sure that those... Try to keep those down as much as possible. So we've just crossed over the 40,000 population mark. They're well below that. They're even below Greece. So Greece has a large population. Macedonia has a large population. If the Brutii take out them, then we're kind of in trouble. Right? And then let's take a look at Gaul. So Gaul doesn't have many people. This That's who's the Julii is going after. So there's not a lot of population in Gaul. So I'm not as concerned with them. What about Germany? Okay, not much in Germany, Brittany, Britannia, and Spain. Okay, so Spain is a little bit of a concern. If uh, the Julia go after Spain, they'll get quite a bit of population from them. But they're a little bit further away from Spain. So they have to go through Gaul first. So I think I do need to focus on Macedonia next. Macedonia and Greece because they have much higher populations okay so the broody eye looks like they might be able to take out Thurman soon I can move get a fleet down here pick up this army and move them east I really want to get Kaidonia over here because I love Cretan archers and especially since I can't recruit the um, archer Exilia with the remaining reforms, I'll, I'll want to have a lot of Cretan archers. So you can get Cretan archers from Crete, of course, but also in, I think you can get them in Greece and Asia over here as well. So I think, let's go ahead and uh, send a fleet down here to pick them up. And then retrain them over here to get the upgraded Temple Vulcan, Vulcan stuff and uh, start sending them out to Greece. What do we got here? We'll uh, get it, make sure our navy's a little bit bigger in case we run into pirates. In fact, should I get a boat instead of a peasant? No, we're gonna stick with the peasant. Well, with that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put a cut in it here. Thank you for watching, bye.